must construct a digital pylon. My dear Scarecrow, anybody can have a brain. It's a very mediocre commodity. Every pusillanimous creature that crawls on the earth or slinks through the slimy seas has a brain. As for you, my fine friend, you're a victim of disorganized thinking. You think that simply because you run away from danger means you have no courage. You're confusing courage with wisdom. Back where I come from, we have men who are called heroes. Once a year, they take their fortitude out of mothballs and parade down the streets of the city. But they have no more courage than you. They do have one thing that you don't. A medal. As for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart. You do not know how lucky you are not to have one. Hearts will never be practical until they are made unbreakable. You could have been a world figure, a power amongst men, a successful wizard. I had not been obstructed by a heart. And finally, I'm sorry, what did you want again? Justice! Colonel Jessup! Did you order the code red? You don't have to answer that. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I want the truth! You can handle the truth! Wait, haven't I seen you somewhere? What? No. Does the year 1989 mean anything to you? Maybe something about hot air balloons? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, did he fire six shots or only five? Tell you the truth. All this excitement I've forgotten myself. With being this is a 44 Magnum, most powerful handgun in the world. It'll blow your head clean off. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do ya, punk? Wait, wait, wait. Don't you have a no guns, no killing policy? Actually, Batman is seen using guns in Detective Comics 32, 33, 35, Batman number one, and the special world. Let me see your face. You have asked, I'm afraid, for the one thing in my power that I cannot grant you. Please do not ask it again. Wait, what? You can't be that surprised. I mean, you saw the ears. What? This is so stupid. You can have the cow, the creepy opera thingy, all to yourself. I'm done. My angel of music. That is not danger. It is inevitable destruction. You stand in the way not merely of an individual, but of a mighty organization, the fullest extent of which you, with all your cleverness, have been unable to realize. You must stand clear, Mr. Holmes, or be trodden underfoot. I am the world's greatest detective. I have made a promise on my parents' graves that I would rid the evil in this city that took their lives. But with me and my trusty sidekick here, you will fail. Say the line. No. Say the line, Robin. I'm a doctor. Say it! Holy horseshoes, Batman. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. Going to destroy you. After tonight, no one will question my power. After tonight, if they do speak of you, they will only speak of how you begged for death, and how I, being a merciful lord, obliged. Wait, where did he go? So if you're Voldemort, why do you have hair, and a nose, and other stuff? Avada! Seriously, it's weird. Yeah, uh, our makeup department sucks. Our makeup department's got a low budget. You understand? I do. Oh wait, no I don't. Cause that proves me! Check this out. Business up top. Casual model. That's just bananas, yo!
Movie magic. I'm bored. I know what you're thinking. This isn't how you hold a gun. He's my favorite superhero ever. Ow. <laughs> you didn't see what happened, but it was beautiful. So much pain. So much pain. <laughs> It's fucking Steven! Who knew? Look at Craig sleeping. He's so tuckered out from filming. Oh, I'm Batman! Ha <laughs> ha! Pew! In comes Watson! <laughs> Justice! Now this bitch over here wants something from me. <laughs> I'm fucking with her. <laughs> yeah. The sprinkler. <laughs> Completely different person. Phantom of the Opera. And if I with you were my girl. We would dance and hit the fan if you were my girl.